Hello YouTube, this is Waterfall Joe and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm sharing some exciting news. I bought a brand new camera. I'm so excited to show you guys what it is. It's a brand new direction for me. I've never shot this before and I'm excited to take it on all of my future adventures. So let's dive in. For those of you new to my channel or if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I want to talk about the camera I have been using kind of what I've been doing for a few years, and then we're gonna talk about the new direction that I'm heading. So, for those of you who don't know, I sh uh, used to shoot with the Nikon Z6 II. This was my primary camera for about two and a half, three years. I've been shooting Nikon for about seven years. There was a brief time when I was shooting Fujifilm for a little bit, but I am primarily a Nikon shooter. Um, Ni I've loved Nikon. I've had a D3300, a D750, and now the Z6 II mirrorless. I've always been pleased with these cameras. Uh, I also love to use Tamron lenses as well, so I've been a Nikon Tamron user for many years now, and I've traveled the world with these cameras, so I'm a huge fan of this system. Now, as a traveler, hiking, waterfall photographer, I have always lugged quite a lot of equipment with me in my bag, but I've always wondered, what if I carried a little less weight in my bag? What if I didn't have to lug 15, 20 pounds of gear in my camera bag? Uh, I don't mind doing it, but I've always wondered, is there a better way? Now, there's always been a system that has intrigued me as their kind of main focus is a smaller, more compact system. I've been watching the system for years. I've always been curious. And just a few weeks ago, I finally pulled the trigger on this brand new camera. So I want to introduce you to my brand new camera, the brand new system. This is a whole new direction for me. This is my OM-1 Mark II. This camera right here is, I've been watching it for since the day it came out and I've been so excited about it and I had to get my hands on one. Let's go ahead and dive into more about it. So before we start diving into the specs and settings and all that, let's talk about what OM System is. So OM System, formerly known as Olympus, is a Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera company. Now Micro Four Thirds is a smaller form factor sensor compared to say crop sensor and full frame. They can manufacture a smaller system. Now for someone like myself who hikes, travels, doesn't really want to lug a lot of weight in the camera bag, this is the perfect system for me. The less weight, the better. The more agile I can be, the more I can move around. And after shooting full frame for so many years, I'm kind of ready for a change. Now on that point, what drew me to OM System? So I actually work at a camera store and I am around this stuff 24 seven. I'm always there, I'm always looking at cameras, I'm always talking about cameras. And of course, everyone wants full frame and I don't blame them. Full frame is great. But for some situations, I gotta say, I would like a little less weight in my camera bag. So there's a few features in particular about OM system cameras that drew me to this system. For some of you who saw my video a few weeks ago about the OM5, let me talk more about that. So I borrowed an OM5 for the day. It was not mine, I just borrowed it to just go out and shoot and see what I thought of it before I spent my money on this camera to make sure I was making the right decision. Well, let's just say I fell in love with the system within five minutes of using it. So I've just been shooting with the OM5 for 10, 15 minutes here at the waterfall. Um, I gotta say, my expectations are, are, are shattered. This is, this is so phenomenal, guys. It's actually kind of messing with me. Like, it really changed my way of viewing photography. I'm getting one second handheld waterfall photos straight out of camera with no tripod. This is actually really messing with me. Uh, I knew this camera was great, but I almost have the chills. Like this is, this is amazing. This really is making me reconsider my camera decisions. As you can see, 
I took the OM5 out, I played with some settings, and I was sold. Later that night, I came home, and I finally pulled the trigger on the OM1 Mark II. I had been thinking about it for, honestly, months at this point. I was always curious about this system. I've always wondered. So many people brag about their OM cameras and Olympus cameras and how amazing they are. I would like a taste of that. I'd love to see what that's all about. Best thing about an OM system camera is the computational photography. What that means is all of the extra goodies that they packed into the camera that they didn't have to, they included it because they wanted to. OM system by far embraces is better than any camera company. Live ND, high res mode, best in-body image stabilization in the game, and in one of my favorites that I'm so excited to try out is the live graduated neutral density filters in the OM-1 Mark II. These are all features that they added into the camera, and I cannot wait to go out and shoot with them. Let's dive into them a little bit more quickly, because I do have plans to have videos about these in the future, more in particular like the live ND, the high-res mode, the live graduated ND for waterfalls, maybe the starry autofocus mode for some astro at one point. So I got a lot of plans for this camera. So under the shooting menu number two, you have computational modes, and you can see we have all these modes. You have high-res mode, live ND, live graduated ND, HDR. These are all computational modes. So if we click on this one, these are, this is the high-res mode. And you can see this says 80 megabytes or 50 megabytes. Depending on if you're using a tripod or not, you can get up to an 80 megabyte raw file in high res out of this camera. So for those who want the most detail, but still a small form factor, this is an insanely huge file size. I have played with this before and I do have, a, I do have plans for a future video on this. Now the mode that really drew me into the system was Live ND. Of course, as a waterfall photographer, ND filters are a huge deal for me. Now, OM System has added Live ND into most of their cameras. These are not built-in ND filters, it is simulated ND filters. But we can go in here, and we can pick how many stops would we like to simulate. The OM-1 Mark II goes all the way down to, I believe, like six or seven stops. I mean, it's phenomenal. For me, I actually mostly shoot around a three stop, which is, I believe, right here. But I'm going to play with this, and I have so many videos planned for this. Uh, I plan to go down to the coast and get some seascapes. Of course, plenty of waterfall videos coming with this. This alone is what drew me to the system. Being able to replicate live ND filters without having to carry filters was the biggest selling point for me. And I cannot wait to show you more about this. Another feature that really attracted me to the system is the fact that OM system has the best in-body image stabilization in the entire industry. The OM-1 Mark II in particular has eight and a half stops of IBIS. Now, if you combine that with the live ND, we're talking two to five seconds, maybe even longer if I can hold steady, handheld waterfall exposures. I don't even need to take a tripod with me anymore. I mean, come on. There's one more thing I wanna talk about before we move on, and that is the weather ceiling. Now, OM System, formerly Olympus, has always had spectacular weather ceiling. This camera has an IP53 rating which means it is splash proof. It cannot be dropped in the water, but it is splash proof. As a waterfall photographer, that's a must have for me. Being able to take my camera out with me and not have to worry about anything happening to it, regardless of the weather, that's a must have for my situation. So when you add up the live ND, the class leading IBIS, the weather ceiling, the high res mode, we haven't even talked about lenses yet, the small form factor, uh, they are exactly what I've been asking for. So I cannot wait to go out shooting with them more. So let's talk about the lenses for OM system. So before we get into all of that, I wanna talk about the, the way that you calculate the focal length on an OM system. So this lens that I bought is the 12 to 40 
On a micro four thirds camera, you have to double the focal length of the lens to equal a 35 millimeter equivalent. So this 12 to 40 is actually equivalent to a 24 to 80 in full frame terminology. But look at how compact this is. There's so many lenses that I want for this camera. I've already started researching so many of them. But I do believe my next lens, of course I do need to save up some money because I have, I just bought the camera. But I believe my next lens will be the either the 8 to 25 f4 or the 7 to 14 2.8. I'm still torn between the two. I think for my personal traveling waterfalls, I think the 8 to 25 makes the most sense for me. The other lens I'm looking at after that is the 40 to 150 f 2.8 Pro. Now, this is their equivalent of a 70 to 200, but it's more of a 80 to 300 2.8, and it's way more compact. I think 8 to 25, the 12 to 40, and the 40 to 150, and I have my holy trinity of lenses. Later on, if I get into bird photography, I think I'll get the 300 millimeter f4 Pro, and I'm also looking at some Lawa lenses, as they make some spectacular lenses that are usually a good price and usually pretty small as well. One of the coolest things about OM System is it shares a mount with Lumix. So OM System and Lumix share the micro four thirds mount, so that allows me say if I want a lens that OM system doesn't make I could look at the Panasonic Lumix lineup and if they have it it'll fit on this camera no problems. Panasonic also works with Leica they manufacture lenses together is one of the greatest camera lens manufacturers of our time with some of the sharpest glass so there's some great options there as well. So I don't want to spoil too many things but I have a lot of ideas of for videos in the future on this camera like I said earlier, I'd love to test out the live NDs for you guys. The graduated ND, this, this is the first camera to ever have that. So of course we have to go out and play with that. I also would love to play around with more with the high res mode and show you guys maybe some editing videos and everything on that. It is November here in Connecticut. It's starting to get cold. I think we're going to have a cold winter, but I'm hoping I can go out and do some waterfalls this winter and take out the camera and show you all about it. So those are my plans. I don't want to ruin too much yet. I hope you guys stick around and subscribe for the next upcoming videos. But you're going to be seeing a lot more of my brand new camera. Um, like I said, I've been so excited to share this. I'm excited to show it. I hope that you guys enjoy the video. Let me know, let me know down below what you think. Are you an OM system user? Are you excited to see content on this camera? If there's any questions you have about it, let me know and I'll, I'll leave it down below or I'll make a video about it. Um, I'm, I'm wanting to get more in touch with fellow micro four third shooters. So if you have any channel recommendations, I'd love to see them because I, I just want to get involved with this community. So we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you guys are ex just as about as excited about this as I am because I've been thinking about this camera for so many years and I finally did it. So thank you for watching. This is Waterfall Joe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.